How much time do you spend outlining a story? I know you had talked about a friend that had this like really long outline and yeah. and do do you keep it to one page or how do you do it? Um, I usually do like maybe two or three pages. Like I'll do like a super rough outline and then I'll just flush out a little bit more um, and then try to write the script after that. Because I, I find that most of the the fun stuff comes when I'm writing. So I definitely try to have everything planned out as far as like this is what's going to happen in the story and these are the characters that are going to make it to the end and you know here's when this person you know I try to plot all that stuff out but sometimes I leave stuff open because it's when you're writing it all of a sudden like a lot of times you'll get inspired by some fun stuff. How do you get better at writing? Was it through the notes that you got when you think about let's say you know being 16 and, and writing something versus now what do you think was the main thing to really get you better at it to, to really improve your craft? Um, I think it was just, I think it was reading scripts and also that, which, you know, you learn to turn it to a positive is, is that insecure feeling that you have that, you know, and I know I hear people talk about this all the time, about like actors or whatever, they're always like, the way they always word it is like, they're afraid that someday somebody's going to realize that they were a fraud and they're not really that good, you know, as an actor, or writer. And I think people that get better and better are people that have that thing in them where they're worried, you know, that they're they're not good enough yet so they strive harder so that's for me it's like i think if i ever get to the point where i'm like oh i this is this is the best horror script that's ever going to ever be done and so i've written it and i can just quit now then i'm screwed because I, I again I, I meet people like that all the time where they're like trust me this is going to be the best movie you'll ever read. you know and it's like it's not going to be the best movie ever you know don't say that <laughs> like if you guys get me it's so i think that 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 drive to constantly get better and top yourself as far as like the last thing that you did like you know like you know final destination i'm very proud of that because it was kind of a because it was it was a you know it was the first time that death had actually been like the killer in a film so you know we it was you know it was a kind of a benchmark kind of film like i'm just trying to be nice about it but it was it made a you know it has a definitely has a bookmark in in horror history so that's enough of something to make me happy but I want to, you know, with the Lionsgate project, I want that to be another bookmark as far as that was the first, you know, studio release film with a, you know, diverse cast. Um, and, you know, it's, it's my first slasher film too, so I'm getting back into the slasher, or not back in, but I'm, you know, hopefully we'll kind of kick the new, new wave of slashers off. Um, so now I actually, now I forgot the point. I, what was the <laughs> Oh, in terms of getting better? So it sounds oh, like... Oh, getting better, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's, it's, it, you know, I don't want to... I always joke I don't want to milk Final Destination. To, yeah, I don't. I don't want that to be on my gravestone. Like he wrote Final Destination, and that's like, you know, my only thing. Like so, I want to. I want more. I want a couple more franchises <laughs> before I die. So I know to do that, I have to keep writing, and I know that I have to write good stuff. And you know, hopefully something will stick. You know.